everybody um this is gonna be the third part of my epic polish unboxing um these were a gift from my friend and i've done part one and two of the first box and i think we're gonna get away with oh i hope a part three only i want to try and go quick so this video isn't super super long but there's some really good stuff in here and i like to talk so we'll see how it goes but let's get started part three if it has to go into a part four it'll go into a part four um this is going to be orally in steel the spotlight you guys look at that it's like a mini micro teal glitter with like pink glitters as well obsessed then she did me a solid and this is finger paints um twisted do you remember when finger paints came out with this whole flaky topper collection um I remember everybody swatching on these. I remember all the swatch pictures on these. I remember all the hype around these. I bought myself one and I'm hoping it's not twisted. <laughs> and it was so good. I tried it again because like the base kind of yellowed and I was a little worried. But I put it over black and it looked amazing like it did when I first bought it. And so um, I'm excited to have another one because these were so good. Like they're really beautiful over like a black or... um like a brown anything dark and vampy these cover really well over a white that yellow base might be a problem i'm not sure like the yellowing base but if you guys remember when these came out it was like pandemonium honestly and they were totally worth the hype i was i was pumped about those um next up is from sally hansen extreme and this is lacy lilac i have this polish it's really pretty and it has a good formula this is China Glaze in First Mate. I don't know if I have this, but it's really gorgeous. And I remember seeing a lot of swatch pictures about that one. Um, this is going to be OPI from the Glitter Palette, something like that. In true Stefani fashion. This is like a glitter bomb. I was obsessed with Gwen Stefani in the 90s, you guys. Like, I literally wanted to be, like, the Latina version of Gwen Stefani. <laughs> but now that I look back, I feel like Gwen Stefani kind of, um... She was big on, like, the Chola aesthetic, which I get. She was from Southern California, and Cholas are everywhere there. And, like, that type of style. But I think the problem I have with it is when, like, people that actually invented the style and that's like their culture wear it it's like usually seen as a negative because they're like gangbangers and whatever but then like when a celebrity who is not a person of color does it like when stefani it's celebrated and like she invented it and she didn't invent it and so i don't feel like cultural appropriation was really a thing back then and so she kind of got a pass and then she had like the harajuku girls which that's a whole other thing and i feel like she's gotten away with a lot of like questionable things and so now in the time that it was happening i didn't see it for what it truly was but now i do and i'm a little bit disturbed by it so there's that this is going to be from nyc and this is called big money frost nyc was an old school drugstore brand they had some really cool stuff and then they stopped being sold um this is opi in planks a lot i like that name <laughs> It must have been some kind of like yoga collection maybe or something about a boat like walk the plank um this is called chick magnet zach and this is an older wet and wild they did like a saved by the bell collection you guys look at that were you all obsessed with saved by the bell or not and if you were were you a lisa fan or were you a kelly fan or were you a um shoot the chick with the curly hair Y'all, getting old and having a bad memories for the birds. Let me, let me look it up. So there was Kelly Kapowski, which was Tiffany Amber Thiessen, Elizabeth Berkeley, Jessie Spano. Elizabeth Berkeley was so pretty, you guys. And so was Tiffany Amber Thiessen. And then there was Lark Verruchis. I don't, I don't know how to say that. She was Lisa Turtle. Which one were you a fan of? I feel like I really liked, um the style of Kelly Kapowski but I really liked the attitude of um Jesse so and then of the guys were you guys a Screech fan Dustin Diamond were you a Mario Lopez fan AC Slater or were you a Mark Paul Gosselier Zach fan 
I was an AC Slater fan all the way. <laughs> and I still love Mario Lopez. So there's that. But let me know who you guys liked and if you were into that back in the day. Well, me and my sister were obsessed with that show. So. Okay, then we have sinful colors queen of green i want to say that i do not have this and i don't know how but it's really gorgeous that would be perfect for christmas this is spoiled in our mermaids reel and it's like a really beautiful purple with gold shimmer look at how pretty that is uh this is a jesse g and this is a textured polish and this is called crushed candy I think I want to try that with some pop coat. It's really pretty. Um, this is going to be Pear E. Wink All of an Eye from um, Wet n Wild One Step Gel. You don't need a lamp light. I don't know why they made the bottles black, but they did. This one is called Adventure Red E. And it's sort of like a brickish red sort of warm compared to what i really like but i feel like this would be gorgeous like i told you guys in my other video red is trending for fall like this with a matching lip get out of here get out of here be perfect for like a christmas party or like a date or a monday whatever however you're feeling if you want to conquer your monday with some red lips and nails this is Jungle Queen from China Glaze. I do not have this polish and it's beautiful, so I'm excited for that. This one is Metaphorically Speaking, and this is from OPI. You guys, look at that. So pretty. Um, then I have China Glaze in Elephant Walk. I remember this collection very specifically, and I remember looking at all the swatches and wanting some, and then I remember talking myself out of it. So I'm excited to have this one. Don't ask me why I did that, but I like that is vivid in my mind that I was like, oh, I want this, and then I didn't buy it. My collection wasn't even big then, so it wasn't that. This is from Spoiled, and this is called Black Mamba. Is that what Kobe Bryant's nickname was? Was he Black Mamba? Am I crazy? Anybody who follows basketball, tell me. I want to say yes. My son used to be obsessed with green mambas. He had this snake book and he was like, look at all the pictures. And he was obsessed with the color green. And then he read about the green mamba and how poisonous it was. And he was like obsessed. So then we went to San Diego to the zoo and they had a green mamba there. And we literally could not look at anything else till we took him to the glass to look at the green mamba. And he stood there forever and told me like all the facts of the green mamba that I had been hearing for like a whole week leading up to the trip. And we took a bunch of pictures of him standing next to the green mamba and of the green mamba. And it was like the highlight of his probably 10 year old life to see a green mamba behind a glass at the San Diego Zoo. Um, this is strawberry cupcake. And um, I have this already. It's really cute. I really like it. So um, this one is it's a trap ease from China Glaze. I have this polish and I feel like my glitter has faded into the base more. So I'm going to double check it. And if it has, I'm going to keep this one and get rid of mine. China Glaze does a lot of bleeding glitters, and it took me a while to notice. This is Rainstorm from Sinful Colors. I do have this polish. It's beautiful. Matches my hoodie. Check out the hoodie. I'm in Halloween mode already. <laughs> it's from Sheen. Then I have Sugar Plum from the Sally Hansen Sugar Shimmers. This is a texture. And this is also a sugar shimmer, and this one is called Gummy Grape. Fun fact about me, I hate artificial grape flavor, like artificial grape, like in gum, or like when you buy cough medicine and it's grape flavored. I hate artificial grape, and I hate artificial peach flavors. Yeah, I would rather do artificial cherry if I have to pick. Um, This is the Perfect Holly Day from China Glaze, you guys. Look at that. Oh, I need to wear that. This is a color show brocade, and this is in Silver Swank. I think I may have this polish already. This is an OPI Infinite Shine, and this is in Topless Beach. You guys, this is one of my favorite nudes ever. There's a radio personality um, that used to be in Albuquerque. Her name is Dana Cortez. I think she's out of Phoenix now, and she's gotten huge, which is awesome for her. Um, but she posted a Manny 
with Topless Beach on her Facebook page and I went out and bought it and I was obsessed. Um, I was just like, I need that in my life. Um, this, oh, this is pretty. This is a color club and this is called Ho Ho Holly. Look at that. That is beautiful. Um, this is China Glaze in Active Wear Don't Care. I don't think I have this and I love it. It sort of is giving me four leaf clover vibes and I love four leaf clover. This is Finger Paints in Tales of Love. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. This is another spoiled and this is in Cougar Attack. Cougar Attack. I will tell you guys a funny story. So <laughs> I was at the grocery store. It's been a few months. I started talking to this guy while we were like looking at stuff. And then he asked me for my number and if maybe he could take me to dinner on Friday night. So I gave it to him and I was like, yeah, let's chit chat. So he ended up randomly calling me out of the blue. And I was like, we were talking. So he told me he usually travels for work, like working on the, um, those like really big windmills. I don't know what they're called, but they're huge those big white ones and then he's like but it's been slow and so I'm back at home and I'm working construction and I was like oh that's nice and then we were kind of talking about travel and I was talking about maybe wanting to go to Vegas and then he was like oh um I would want to go to Vegas with you and I kind of laughed and he was like bet so if you guys do not have kids between the ages of probably like 15 and 23 well 15 and 25 bet is like this huge term they use now i don't i don't know anyway i was like so my younger son says bet like constantly like you say something he's like bet 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 and i'm like what and so i was like did you just say bet and he was like yes and i was like how old are you and he was like i'm 28 how old are you and i was like i am 44 years old and he was like i thought you were maybe like in your mid 30s or late 30s and he's like i like older women and I was like, boy, I'm 44 years old. I have a 25 year old son and this is just bizarre. So I was like, I'm good. I don't think we should talk anymore. Like this is just weirding me out. They're giving me like weird vibes, like um, robbing the cradle. And so instead of taking no for an answer, later in the day, he sent me shirtless gym selfies. And I was like, oh gosh. So he was making it really hard. <laughs> but I was just like, oh my gosh. So cougar attack, like if, if I ever, <laughs> If we ever go to dinner, I'm going to wear this polish. Cougar attack. <laughs> there is seriously a thing about younger men and older women, which I am finding out, and it's bizarre to me. Um, I don't know if it's always been a thing because I was, like, married for so long, but it's a thing. And it's, I don't, it's weird. I don't, I don't care for it, honestly. Like, it, it makes me feel weird, like, seeing someone close to my son's age, like, in that way, like a, you know, like, um, my niece watches these videos. So, you know what I'm trying to say, like in an attraction way. And so, yeah. So this is called Date in the Moonlight and it is from Essence. And you guys look at this. I need to try that as well. It looks beautiful. I always wanted some of these Sally Henson Gem Crush. I'm so excited. Why I didn't buy them is beyond me because I'm insane. And this one is called, oh, here we go, Showgirl Chic. I need to wear that. I always wanted them. I saw them at the store, never bought them. Don't ask me why. Uh, that's just crazy. This is Celeb City from Sally Henson Extreme Wear. Remember I was telling you metallics are also trending. You're going to see a lot of metallics. Um... This is Morgan Taylor in Fame Game. This looks gorgeous too. I have a lot of options I feel like for fall and for like glam occasions. Um, so that's nice. This is Comet Closer from um, OPI. I don't think I've ever seen this or remember what collection it's from. This is The Nudes from Essence, I Heart Trans and this is called Nude Sweet Nude. So like a copper. Okay, we're getting close to the end. So maybe I'll just keep going. This is Wait and See from China Glaze. This is really pretty. This is Essie in On the Roadie. That's a gorgeous green. 
This is Salon Perfect in Sequin Sisters. Ooh. I've seen these and I haven't bought any. I really like the packaging too, like how it has this sort of like gradient glitter cap. Um, this is going to be Simple Colors Opalescent line and this is in Sheer Flight. That's gorgeous. Um, this is China Glaze Magnetics in Pull Me Close. I don't think I ever tried any of these. So I don't, that would be interesting. Oh, you guys, when I saw this, I was so excited. So this is I Dream of Jean Genie from Wet n Wild. I have this polish, but I'm excited to have a backup. It's gorgeous. Um, it's sort of like a denim blue with like this beautiful gold shimmer. This is going to be my silicone popped <laughs> from Spoiled. I love this color. The name is hilarious. My silicone popped. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is Red Velvet from Sally Hansen Sugar Coat. This is also, oh, this is pretty. Another textured. I might try that with some top coat. This is Pure Ice in pop-in bottles this looks really pretty you guys very blingy this looks amazing as well this is color club this also has no name but it's like a really gorgeous sort of like glitter bomb um this is simple colors in flake out and it like a snowflake kind of topper this is China Glaze Holographic in Cosmic Dust. These were very, um, sort of like weaker holographics, but they're really pretty. This is Sexy in Sequence from L'Oreal, and I believe this is a textured polish, and I think I have this already in my collection. This is from Pure Ice, and this is called Not So Basic. It's like a peach with some shimmer i don't think this is gonna flatter my skin tone at all but it is gorgeous this is sinful colors in starry night this looks pretty i'm gonna have to try that one i'm pretty sure i don't have that this is fashion queen from nyc this looks really gorgeous as well this is denim dash from maybelline color show i own this polish you guys and it's really gorgeous Uh, this is China Glaze in Smoke and Ashes. I don't think I have this, and it's really beautiful. This is Orly Color Blast in Shamrock Gloss Glitter. So this is a re-bottled um, version of um, something garbage. This was a really sought after Orly, um, and I think the full size was in here earlier. Sparkling garbage. That's what it was called. Um, but this is just like a rebottled version of that polish renamed and because I have this version Because for some reason I didn't buy the original because I was crazy and um, it's really pretty Then this is gargantuan green grape from OPI A few more left stick with me. This is um, totally toffee from Revlon you guys Revlon has some of the most beautiful like you can buy the matching lipstick and um polish so i have cherries in the snow lipstick obsessed with that color i repurchase it after i use it every single time and um i have cherries in the snow polish and it's beautiful and like it's a very much like a 1950s kind of look to do the matchy matchy but ugh, when you do it like you feel so glam i do not have the totally toffee lipstick but i might buy it and just i don't think it would be as glam but ugh, so pretty and perfect for fall but if you want to feel glam, cherries in the snow on the lips and nails, perfection. Uh, this is China Glaze in Travel in Color. It looks kind of like a topper. This is Metal Rush by Rimmel. And this looks really cool. Um, I don't think it has a name, but look, it's like a multi-chrome. I need to try that. That looks really pretty. Uh, this looks amazing. This is from Milani, and this is Brown Alicious, you guys. 90s vibes, four days. Could you imagine this matted with like a very dark, vampy lip? 
and then I'm wearing like knee-high boots and a long sweater imagine that this is from Orly and this is called pink chocolate I love the name because I love pink and I love chocolate makes two of my favorite things this has some ugly bottle syndrome I don't know how this will turn out on the nail I'll probably put it in my polish mixer but I think it's gonna be a grandma and I think I'm gonna love it more stone crystal shimmers this is called tealing power I think I wore this I wore this recently well not recently I haven't polished my nails in a bit but within the last year I think I've worn that um this is china glaze in choo choo choose you I have this polish it's beautiful I have orly in decoded this looks really pretty sort of like a bluish gray color this is going to be china glaze in hook and line this is sort of like 90s grungy vibe as well but like in a different way and then this looks really 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 pretty and this is avon in ruby slipper that looks perfect for christmas like it's really pretty and it has like really beautiful shimmer in it avon got so boring with their polishes too like they were kind of upping the game in the polish golden era and like now like you could probably order like six polishes from avon and that's it kind of sad that is everything in this box you guys um i still planning to do what i said where i'm pulling polishes here like three but i just realized when i filmed that video it was going to be october and you guys know how i feel about halloween manis it's like halloween all day over here and so it probably won't start till november um or i may yeah no it probably won't start till november because i gotta wear all my halloween polishes as much as possible and do as many halloween manis as possible because i'm obsessed with halloween as you guys know this is my first one so far i'm wearing um in in new york from um believe beauty it's a dollar it's one it's my favorite black right now it's two coats but they go on really nice and smooth i've probably used half my bottle it's amazing and then i have it topped with um colores de carol's leo so it's sort of like a holographic glitter topper with a bunch of different sizes of holographic orange glitter I swatched this full collection. She did like a rainbow of toppers. There was probably, well, there was 12 because it was that Zodiacs. And um, this is perfect for Halloween. This is the first time I've had my nails done in months. Probably since before the summer. I didn't paint all summer. So maybe since like April-ish, maybe May. I couldn't stop staring today. I was like driving, typing. I couldn't just be like. Mm. 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 Like I just, oh, like even just doing this, I'm like, mm. how did I go so long? It's so funny because I'm like, well, maybe I'm just not into polish anymore. But now I'm like, no, I'm still into polish. Life just gets in the way sometimes because I am obsessed with this right now. <laughs> it's an obsession. So anyway, let me know if you have any of these polishes. Um, did you enjoy seeing this? I'll be ready to do the next unboxing here soon. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I will see you on the next video. I hope you're having an amazing evening. Bye.